Good morning and welcome to A1 Vacuum and Sewing's live stream for Thursday, March 28th. So once again, for those of you that are joining us from Facebook, come join us on YouTube. Next week, sometime midweek, I will try to uh, multi-stream again. But I am not uh, holding my breath, I think. You know, all of our problems go away when we don't live stream to Facebook. All of our problems in the entire world go away. All your dreams come true. <laughs> That's funny. All your dreams come true. All your dreams will come true. Vote Pedro. Vote Pedro. Oh, is that what uh, Napoleon Dynamite says? Or Pedro well, no, says? Pedro is like, if you vote for me, all your dreams will come Isn't true. Isn't that one of the best movies ever? If you've never seen it, I would not. I you wouldn't enjoy recommend that movie. it? No, not that I wouldn't recommend it, but I wouldn't call it like, I wouldn't put it in my. It's not like Shawshank or Forrest Gump. List of like. Shawshank and Forrest Gump, those are like, or it's the Titanic, like, you know. I'm it's like so kind of over Titanic. I think Titanic's stupid. There was enough room on the door. <laughs> I think there was enough room on the door too. Right. He could yeah. at least gotten his upper body on there. Right. She just she, she was she was done with Jack. Patrick. No, there was enough room on the door. But I think the Titanic is like one of the... So the first time I watched the Titanic, we watched it because somebody had taken like a camcorder in and like recorded it. When did you watch it? I watched it. You watched like a bootleg of Titanic? I, bought, I watched a bootleg and I can't even remember like, but so they were like recording people it. People were like getting up. And yeah, there were around. people like getting up. So you would see like the recording and then you'd see like a shadow of somebody getting up and like walking out. I have no idea. Angela, Angela had it and I watched it in like, I was in San Francisco at the time. So, and we were like, oh, we have a copy of the Titanic. We were all excited and that's it was so it was so shady. I was Remember what was the was it Good Time who what was what show had rerun? Was that Good Times? Reruns? Rerun. Remember the the Oh, that was a character? Yeah, remember the dude who popped and locked and stuff? Was that yeah, Good Times? Yeah, it was times? probably Good Times. Good times yeah. With JJ. So so remember when Rerun gets busted uh bootleg in the Doobie <laughs> Brothers concert? I I can't believe you remember that. He took that. a tape recorder in, and he was like dancing, and it <laughs> fell out of his jacket. And he's gonna get in big trouble. You were probably you were probably like four, like you're. We you're, were talking about stuff that happened literally, like. Oh yeah. That was like eight years ago, and you're like, I don't even remember any of that. I didn't remember. I was asking, yeah, Could I, I was, see the... and I didn't remember any, I was like, I don't even remember that. And I don't remember, does that mean I'm, I have memory problems? It means you're never present. I am Patrick. Cause I, do I always remember... say, she's always like, you remember everything. I and remember, I'm like, I... I'm like, you know why? Because I'm present. I'm no. paying attention. No, I remember. Jeannie's always like, I need these shoes in black. And the world is going on around her or all those orders are happening right now and I'm not working and the world is going on around her. Does anyone else, you know why? I, I swear that's it. My son's the same way. My son's like, I don't remember any of it. And I'm like, that's because the entire time you're worried about something other than what's happening to you at the moment. I think that's just how my brain works. My brain catalogs and throws away stuff. 
And you know what I remember? I remember my sewing classes with you. I remember that. That's because that's where you put your brain. That's where I put my brain. I right put now. my brain everywhere. Patrick remembers everything. I put my brain into what I'm doing. Okay. So, um, Jeannie, Miss, Miss Jeannie's now, she announced the other day that she's now our, our wildlife see. <laughs> Cause Patrick will be like, you see that mountain goat two miles away on the, <laughs> on that mountaintop. And I'm like, there's nothing there. And then uh, sure enough, you put, um, a, you look and there's like a mountain goat there or he spots the owl on our so he we were driving out he spotted a how cool is this a bald eagle tell him about the bald eagle in the neighborhood well that well that was easy to see he was like 30 feet <laughs> we were we were i drove into the neighborhood we so have ponds you, in our neighborhood yeah, if you know collin ranch if you're from reno we live in collin ranch and there's ponds at the bottom so at the bottom pond, and there's always like 40 ducks down there, like driving around the corner at the bottom. I'm like, why are all the ducks like there were like 60 ducks all standing like right next to the road. And I'm like, what is going on? And then on the far <laughs> side of the pond, there's a bald eagle just standing next to the pond. And I'm like, oh, that's why all the ducks are over here. But how cool is that? Like They probably I... had just watched their friend be brutally murdered. <laughs> <laughs> they probably devoured because they're i mean they're pretty big how big are they like two feet a foot and a half oh they're easily two feet okay yeah so um so how cool is that that we had a bald eagle just hanging out what's at the... happening is this show oh yeah yeah it Good was times. what's happening they go to see the doobie brothers does anyone remember that episode? And he's like dancing and the tape recorder <laughs> falls out. And like the whole crowd, instead of like what would really happen is the whole crowd would be like, oh, hide the tape recorder. Like the whole crowd's like. <gasps> oh my God, have we, uh, are we not there morally anymore? No, even then what would have really happened was somebody would bootleg. <laughs> it would be fine. Um. Yeah, so I am the new uh, animal uh, wildlife spotter. Because when we drove to we drove to Vegas, I was like, oh, antelope. How cool is I'm from Connecticut. We had deer and squirrel and possum. And the only time you saw possums when they were dead. And woodchuck. That would like always eat your garden. What did you call them? <laughs> prairie dogs? You're like, oh my god, look, look! That no, she's the wildlife spotter. Oh look, look, they're woodchucks, and I'm like, those are prairie dogs. Did you know they're prairie dogs? And was that in Arizona? Yeah, all I've over only, the West. I've only seen prairie dogs like in. They were all over Denver. Yeah, in Denver, that was the first time I saw prairie dogs, and I was like, because oh, we don't have prairie dogs in Connecticut. We only have deer, squirrel, and possum. And raccoons and woodchuck and deer mice carrying ticks. So, uh, so we did do this trip, and I was the wild because Patrick's always the wildlife spotter, and I was the wildlife spotter, wasn't I? Yep, that's right. Because <laughs> I was present, and I was enjoying looking for wildlife. Literally for like two hours, she just was like looking out the window. That was such a pretty drive. Though. It is a really, really pretty drive. There's a lot to see out here. So if you're from back east, uh, do you like a back road trip? Back east, you're like, look, trees. <laughs> a deer, we're going to hit it. <laughs> out here, you know what you hit? Birds of prey. You still... And you still hit you still hit deer, but like you know the um, deer here are much bigger. Yeah, they are much bigger. They're not like those little. Are they little white tail? What are they back east? I was driving. I drove. So my dad's business partner, his son went to Amherst College, and I was at school. And we drove home together one time, and it was like eleven o'clock at night, and I was driving down. There were so many deer. I was like driving down the road and like we came around a corner and there were all these deer. And to this day, I could not tell you how I did not hit the deer. Because I think we were like doing 360s. It's probably driving too fast. 
but add that to the things that uh, that uh, happen. Um, yeah, we had. I walked outside the other day, and and uh, in our backyard, and like the dogs are being super quiet. They had been outside for a while, and I was like, "What is going on?" And I looked over, and we have like a walkway on our grass, and Momo's just standing there, which is bizarre, just like looking. And then I look over, and Poppy stood up, just looking, and they were looking at a pretty large coyote right on the other side of our fence, who was just standing there as well. And then when I walked out, the coyote ran away. You know what I'm scared of? Is I'm scared of everything. Mount, Mount, well, I am scared of everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Bridges collapsing <laughs> under her as she drives on them. That's her new fear. Yeah, I'm scared of that. Yeah, it happens. But I'm scared of, you know what, I uh, sometimes, because we have mountain lions. Wall panels blowing off airplanes. That's another big fear of hers. Yeah, I'm never, I'm going to cinch my belt down so tight, and I don't ever want a window seat again. I don't ever want a window seat. I want an aisle seat, and I'm going to cinch it down. I want, like, a back strap, too, where you clip it. But what if the whole seat went? The, the whole uh, seat. The, um, I better bring a parachute. You're right. I should Gail, wear- I haven't seen them yet, but, that, that like, shipments don't arrive until 11 or 12 anyways. Oh, let's talk about that. Patrick got shipping notification about what, Patrick? 27 5 by 7 magnetic frames. So for all that that should fill all of our orders for all the people that have been waiting for that magnificent five by seven magnetic frame and I should have brought mine um, because I use it a lot. You, if you have been watching some of my mini quilt videos, I've been using it in those videos. Not that I don't love all the other like I love the other ones too. I don't know what it is. I just really like those. So they're now saying. Gail, that the machines will be here tomorrow by 7 p.m., which makes me go, are the trucks stuck on the other side of the pass again? I did have that on my list here, Margie. Happy 84th birthday to Margie Borlay. Like, how wonderful is that? I, like, you know, there are certain words that, that bring things to mind. It, Borlay makes me think of the Wiggles. Thank God. Why? What what did the Wiggles used to say all the time? I do like I don't know. They make me think she makes me think of the giggle the Wiggles. The Margie Borlay's name? Because I go, they would have said it Borlay. <laughs> you know? What did they used to say? Like I, don't I used know. to always be like, I hated the Wiggles. Patrick. I did. I had to watch a lot of Wiggles. We watched a lot of Wiggles because, you Kai know. Kai would be like, Wiggle Jump! <laughs> he was so excited every time. He loved that. I like that, but. Yes. Um, but anyways, uh, so happy birthday, uh, Margie. I think her birthday was yesterday. It was Wednesday. So shout out to you. Um, if you're waiting for, because I did get a email about this, the April roll-up uh design you might have gotten confirmation that um i filled the order so on the 27th they said we could we could fill our um club orders and all the other orders so i went in and put all of your names in but you won't actually get that access to it until april 1st so just remember because every month we get all these emails that are like "Where's where's my design the design comes out normally on the first there have been a handful of occasions where they don't show up until the second or the third. I think that's. I think we're through that. We're through that. Yeah. The new system is clean. Unless I make a mistake. So if you, if you're waiting for your design and you don't get it on the first, reach out to me. But I think we're pretty good. And I went through and I checked all the people and I checked both of my lists. So I think everyone should get your charming roll-up design on the first of April. So check your account then. Um. Don't forget, tomorrow's the sew along. So, and if you want to just watch, you can just watch. But uh, Karen will be here tomorrow and she will be stitching this out for you and showing you how to do the quilting, the buttonholes, and you'll be doing all the stitching with her. So, if you are new to embroidery too, that'd be a great way to get to know your machine as well. 
and learn a little bit about embroidery. So, and keep in mind, it is a live stream. So, you know, we always get a lot of questions like, how do we find it? Where is it? You're going to find it the same way you found this. It's And it's going to be the same thing. We will, um, we will, uh, uh, it's just like you're on this. It's just, gonna... Yeah, it's the same exact thing. Where it, And if you're watching on Facebook, I will copy the link and put the YouTube link on Facebook. But, like, literally all of our problems go away when we don't broadcast directly to Facebook. Yeah, so uh, just show up. You're not going to get an invitation. There's no Zoom. You'll just know to show up tomorrow at 1030 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That means 1.30 if you're East Coast, 12.30 if you're Central, and 11.30 if you're Mountain. How's that? Um, or 12.30 if you're Central. Did I say the wrong 1 thing? Or 1.30. I said 1.30 if you're East yeah. Coast, 12.30 oh, if I you're missed Central. That part. I wasn't being present. All right. <laughs> So um, Marlene said she got her design early. So did you guys, I'm confused. Did you guys get it? Did you actually get the design? Because I, if you're doing club through us, I think you'll get it on the first, but that's, it would be good to know if anyone else got their design early. I did them all. Maybe I did it on the 26th. I can't remember. I did it on the 26th or the 27th. Um, so let me know if you got yours early. I'd be interested in knowing. No. So so crafty. Um, it's there. The spa event is there. Just look up day at the spa. No, it's not. It's only there if uh, if you um, are signed. No, up. she's saying she couldn't find the event on our app. Oh yeah, yeah. I can still. I'm. I. Um, I'm getting more kits tomorrow, so I can still get it to you. I should have them tomorrow, and I can priority mail it. So if you still want to do it the the day at the spa. Please sign up. Well, will you just check the website, though, and make sure? Because that would be the second person that said they couldn't find it. And who is that? Because I'll email you the link. But day at the... It is there, and you can add it to your cart. So if somebody is still looking for it, you can email me. But just type, type in day at the spa, and it should pop up. And you can sign up for a local pickup or to have it shipped to you. Space is available. Did you answer the question about the Oliso Tula Pink Mini Irons? Yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for them. They've all been ordered. So as soon as it comes in, I will let you know. But they are really, really cute. They were really popular. So I think we're just waiting. What is the shop app? Oh, the phone. I'm sure they mean the, I'm sure they mean on your phone. And then did we answer any other questions? Wait, but do we have an app? I don't have an app. Do we have an app? Do we have an app? I don't think we have an app. You might have like a Shopify app. The easiest thing to do is just go to the website. Yeah. Or maybe we do have an app. I don't know. <laughs> A1 Vacuum and Sewing website. I don't think we have an app. You just go on there. I think there may be a Shopify spa. app that like has their stuff. Okay. I typed in spa and the first thing that came up, all I typed in was spa. Make sure you're on the right site. That is our logo. Patrick had it designed. Isn't he so fancy? He did that. And then um, if I had done it, we wouldn't have picked maroon. And then you can go ahead and get signed up for that. It would be purple or so, like teal. I don't know. I'm looking at the shop app if you're talking about that. And I'm unaware of us being on the shop app. Colleen, order it. Order your full size and your small size. It is really, really cute. I just got the Mimi. It's like a animal hmm. print. And I'm like trying to justify getting the Tula pink one because it I mean it's worth it for the box it comes in I mean Michelle saw the box and was like I gotta have it didn't even see the iron just saw the box and was like I gotta have it you gotta have it it is like you're gonna feel so gorgeous ironing with that iron 
You're going to be like, I feel beautiful right now as I'm pressing my Kimberbell fabric. That's how you're going to feel. <laughs> gotta feel beautiful let's all order it although um i've already See, pre these are the thoughts she has when we're doing something that keeps her from remembering those things yeah i'm like if i had that tool of being yeah iron, exactly i would feel so gorgeous and then i'm like remember when our child had this major life event <laughs> and Jeannie's like no you, we, you know, we missed. So remember, we missed their their um, Nash, National Honor Society. I was home that night, and Violet's like, "Oh, I have this thing at school," and I was like, "Okay," and she's like, "Okay, I'll be home at whatever time." I was like, "Okay, I'll see you later." And then Kurt Kinder sent us pictures of like the kids going up and accepting their National Honor Society stuff, and I was like, "What?" I didn't. The kids even... hadn't even told us. And then the kids were like, yeah, you didn't need to be there. Yeah, they were we had like, to sit around for like four hours and like it was two seconds when we went up and got the awards. I felt like the were Oh, no, but there was something that was a big deal. Well, Violet was a oh, finalist. Oh, because she was. A, I she, think, she won the award. She because she was a national merit finalist. So I think. Well, she was a national merit scholarship recipient. Yes. And so um, my friends are all like, they, te they're, they texted me. They're like, hey, where are you? <laughs> so, I was at home because I was like, OK, what? And they were like, OK, we'll see you later. They did. They're like, oh, yeah, you didn't want to go to that. They told they didn't they didn't tell us. And they I appreciate the practicality of our children. <laughs> that was, <laughs> I felt horrible. We got pictures. We did get pictures. From our friends and we that didn't attended. Even have to go. <laughs> oh my god! Um, yeah, and I was that like, was okay, making up it. for like the seventy-five four-year-old soccer games that we had to go to. <laughs> okay, if you okay, club members. So Alice didn't get hers. April first, you should get it April first. So uh, does the clear blue tiles expansion pack include the designs? The first one did not. So I think what they are, are they are- They're new templates. They're new templates to help you plan it out. The first one did not include designs, and I'm pretty sure the second one does not as well. Do Let we me just that confirm that. Certain? No, I am confirming that. Um, but those should be shipping. So the expansion pack, it's gonna have, are now bigger than ever, because some people, think bigger is better um it's gonna include sizes for 10 by 10 10 by 12 all, uh 10 by 14 um 6 by 16 8 by 16 and large scale it's for you to mix and match with your 4 by 4 and larger tiles you're gonna need the essential set and user guide so there are no extra designs. This is going to be the templates and the templates. Um, ooh, oh four seven. That makes sense. So just to <coughs> clarify that. Yes, hello sunshine. It, yeah, if you do want your kit, we still have some more kits, and we are going to get started with that. I'm going to say end of um, end of. April, because I want to get started on quilting through the seasons. Oh, that's on my list. Quilting through the seasons. I just got my shipping confirmation. If you were waiting for kits, because we ran out of kits and they did a second run. And so they are being shipped. I'll be sending those out at the beginning of next week. And um, they're not doing another run. So sometimes, like for, uh, I forget, like Oh So Delightful, they did like three or four runs of that. They are not doing another run of quilting through the seasons. So if you want it, order it now because, and then I can get some more at the end of next week, but I checked to see how many they had available and they don't have a lot. So if you think you want it, and I don't think you want to put together the, I think you just want to get the kit. The kit is really beautiful. So, um, so get that now if you want to get that now. If you're thinking about doing pump, pumpkins and potions, that's another one. They're not going to do another run of that. So order now. That's not coming out, I think, until June. Uh, and then there's something really cute that's going to go up, 
I think on Monday, I think there's a, a new uh, Christmas quilt. So, and the other thing is, don't feel like you have to get these. There's always something else coming no, out. No, you have to get them. You put them on the shelf of good intentions. That's what I do. I'm like, oh, let me, let me squeeze this down so I can shove more on my shelf of good intentions. <laughs> I can barely, I can barely fit anything on there. I have that same shelf you have. And when I am retired, I'll get to it, just like you guys will too. <laughs> okay, um, large scale are coming out. And is there anything else we need to talk about? I had a couple more things on my list. Oh, I did want to, so I don't know if any of you saw, Lynn Geldmeyer did the most beautiful, amazing pillow. I mean, not pillow, but it was a tea towel. And I was looking through the store for our sample so I could show it to you. I got to find it because I got to show it to you. Anyways, it's from the series, which was called Fill in the Blanks. So, and you could go onto our site and type in Fill in the Blanks and see what's there. Fill in the Blanks was a program that Kimberbell did where if you bought the blank, you got the design for free. So for example, this one is a fill in the blank. Well, this is the pillow. Like you'd have to type in fill in the, I think you have to look for fill in the blank. And if you bought this, just the pillow blank, and I, I kid it out too. If you bought just the pillow blank, then you got the design for free. Does it say on this? So um, here's the design. Isn't that cute? So um, the design that uh, Miss Linda, oh, there's Lynn, and somebody sent it to me. I think it was Joan, um, which was so adorable. It was like home, and it had a, it had the H, and then the O was a pumpkin, M-E. She had done it with H, and was it? Was it a bunny butt? It was so cute. And then the M-E. So um, you can buy the blank. They discontinued the actual the actual tea towel. So I'm doing it with this one. If you buy the blank, then you get the design for free. So just type in fill in the blank. And then you can see all the different, uh, all the different blanks. Um, and, and I think if it says fill in the blank, then I'll remember that or maybe you should put in your notes, fill in the blank design, please. And then I'll send you the design. But there's lots of great, uh, great patterns. And it's nice to just get the pattern, buy the blank, get the pattern. I think that's that's great. Any update on the latest brother sale? So Sharon, I, I think I emailed everyone. Email. Did you email Sharon? Yeah. So okay, we did Patrick get did. it. Um, and what? you are added, but the... Um, did you respond to Sharon? I did. Sharon. Essentially saying that that uh, that stuff all fits the luminaire. So you're you're on there, and that is an order. Like we're starting to fill the orders that that where we had stuff because we had stuff remaining from prior sales. Um, so I I got it, and you're in there. Okay. Sorry, Patrick. If you didn't get his email. What? Why are you looking at me like that? So um, do we have anything else to talk about? Speaking of brother sale, like we've begun to reach out. Like some of you ordered stuff that was left over. Like we were, we've basically said that we were going to talk about the stuff that was remaining from the prior brother sale. We never did. And we never did. Um, like Jeannie was going through a lot and I was working my tail off and we just never did. So some of that stuff, we have the ability to fill, uh, because we had the items remaining and we will be calling you, reaching out to collect payment and ship that stuff to you. Um, for the most part, because I can't tell you exactly when everything's going to be here, we're, if we can fill a good portion of the order, we're just going to fill it and send it to you just because it's going to help us get it out of here. And, and just from the experience back in December, as the stuff arrives, it gets pretty crowded in here and it behooves us just to get it out. Um, how do you get on the list for the brother sale? So the brother sale, Leslie was something that went through last Thursday 
So it's kind of over, although we do have overages and, and we'll likely be filling more than just the stuff that happened then, but we needed to get those orders in. I said Thursday, Jeannie said Friday, but the brother sales kind of over. It's over. Um, we did order a couple extra things. So, um, and next time we do the brother sale, Patrick and I were talking about it. I was like, we didn't add anything new. A lot of this, it was the same sale that we ran back around Christmas time. Because we, we didn't have time. We didn't like, have time. So next time they do, and it could be, I mean, I, I think they do something around. It could be September. Around, yeah. Next time they do it, we'll try to jazz it up and throw in some new things. And uh, and then, um, you know, maybe each day we'll kind of demo some of the products that, uh, some of those, some of the things on this, like, we'll highlight some of those things but i mean it's hard to go through the whole thing because i mean i don't know how many skews they have but you know it's probably I mean, like, a like a thousand, thousand skews, skews. Or something. so we can't put them all on there but it's a good time for you to just put it in your little your uh your brain <laughs> that you're like oh i really want that i want the circular attachment or like you know you know whatever it is that you want um, and then, uh, but that might be a splurge that you can go, okay, I'm going to get it during the next brother sale. Did you put SF 101 on the back of the minky for bunny and chick? I did not. Nope. So, and then we talked about the Tula pink irons before we're just waiting for them. And yeah. Then if you've ordered them, they've been, uh, through me, they've been ordered and I'm just waiting for them to show up. If you haven't gotten them, you can still order them. It looks like their ship date is going to be May. I, so. I actually had, and this is something that we hadn't talked about talking about, but I think it's worth talking about, especially as people begin to consider new machines, the fact that we're going to have a fall event where we'll be running specials on the new machines and furniture and stuff. I've gotten a couple of emails from people essentially saying it doesn't look like Brother is doing 0% financing on their machines anymore um they're not right and uh this is kind of a complicated answer because uh a lot of people don't understand exactly how zero percent financing works um so this will kind of be the last thing that i talk about at least so 0% financing is 0% financing for the customer, meaning, you know, whatever price you're paying, you're not being charged interest on. The way it works through Synchrony is you either have an equal payments promotion, meaning you have to make the same payment every single month, or a deferred interest promotion. Normally, those are like 6, 12, or 18 months where you have to pay off that total within 6, 12, or 18 months and you don't pay um, uh, any interest. However, um, somebody's paying interest on that and it's normally the dealer. So if anybody in the last like year to 18 months has talked to me about financing, what I will always do is I'll show you the rates that I'm paying. There is a processing fee that essentially is the interest that is paid. That's how Synchrony makes money. And what has happened over the last couple of years, everybody knows that interest rates have gone up as those interest rates have more than doubled. And so um, when you see sponsored financing, so like brother advertised financing, what brother was actually doing was brother would take on a nice portion of that 0% financing, meaning they would cover at times 50 or 60% of our financing charge or our processing fee for doing those transactions. Essentially what has happened is those charges have gotten so high that Brothers' most recent promotions have been and, and Synchrony runs all kinds of promotions all the time, but Synchrony has promotions that are 5.99% APR. Um, and so the, the 
Short answer is for the time being, it looks like Brother is not doing much sponsored 0% financing. And I think the reason for that is those financing rates have become so, so high. Like we can pay 23 or 24% on 0% financing processing fees that dealers did not want to do those financing fees. Um, so because it would put us in the awkward position, people come in and they're like, well, brother's doing 0% financing. And even if they're covering like four or 5%, you know, the dealer's still eating at times 16, 17, 18% of that financing fee. Um, so that 5.99% APR rate is much lower. And it's essentially kind of the, the same rates of the processing fees that we used to pay two or three years ago. So the, the short answer would be, you're right. You're not seeing promotions from brother uh, for 0% financing right now. Um, however, Synchrony still offers 0% financing. So if that's what you're interested in, and what I've done for the last two years, like, and what's funny is I've had a lot of dealers say to me, we don't do those promotions anymore. 0% financing is not available. What I've always told folks is what we're going to do is I'm going to give you the best price. And then we're going to talk about the fees that we pay to do this kind of financing. And we're going to figure out what's most important to you. Is it the price of the machine that's most important to you or the payment? Um, because generally I can structure a deal that allows you to get the best price still doing 0% financing. You're just going to help me pay, uh, for that, that, uh, processing fee. And, and we do it in, a, in as transparent a way as possible. So for, there were two people that have emailed me this over the last couple of weeks as the brother promotions for the 5.99% financing has happened. And, and so the very long winded answer is 0% financing is still available. And, um, but if that's what we talk about, expect to see, like, I'm going to be very, um, when I got, got my kit, finally, I sent you an email about your shop app. I'm not stressed anymore now. It's just a matter of getting it by Friday. Damn, I'm such a procrastinator. Don't worry about the kit. Like, it'll be sent in a way that will reach you. And if it looks like shipping's going to be more than the $10 that we add to the cost to ship the kit, I'll actually call and say to you, if it's important to you, for you to have it by Friday, I can ship a priority, but that costs us another six bucks or something like that. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so Lady Fair, that's super common at most dealers. They'll have a finance price and a, and a cash price, um, cash being anything other than finance. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to show you this is what we pay. It's the same price, but you're covering the financing charge. And then we'll work to find the, the price that's going to be most sensible for you. So um, anything else that we need to cover? No. We have a long day of shipping. Yeah. And I drove some separately you, so I can stay late and get everything out. We needed to plan dinner, but I think maybe maybe I'll just go to um, Mudang. And Last night we just had... <laughs> We just had, I literally had an English muffin with an egg. Well, she was jealous. It, I made really, I made like. It, it looks so good. I made. He made really avocado, good toast. avocado toast. And with then, egg. And then he put on, I don't know if any of you go to Trader Joe's, but they have. They uh, have really good salsa. Salsa especial. But and you have to eat it there, within like four or five like days. And he like cut it all up and it looks so good. I was like, oh, I'm going to make that. So I went and there were no more I literally avocados. was like, do you want half of this? Do you want half of we this? We had one sorry looking this? avocado avocado is all like shriveled <laughs> up and you didn't even want to cut into it because it was going to be scary i was like i guess i'll just have bacon <laughs> which i love we're trying not to eat processed meat anymore that's the last bacon i'm gonna processed buy processed meat in like probably let's cut months. it out of our diets 
Although, you know what I found in the freezer the other day? Spicy Italian elk sauce. Ah! But that's not... Does that count as... That's like you... you. No, that's... I hunted it. It's not preserved. It's just... Okay. Uh, have a great day. Be creative. Make something amazing. Hope to see you at the sew along tomorrow. We'll just be here at 1030 right after the live feed ends. Then uh, Karen will start. And... um. That's it. Have a great day. Yeah, we'll see Make you later. Awesome. Bye. All that stuff.